What's up guys, I'm Pause Build, and today I'm going to be building a voodoo information centre slash zoo entrance for our horror zoo, and I'm so excited about this one. Uh, so the inspiration for this came from, I was watching the Disney film The Princess and the Frog, which I hadn't seen, and it was actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be, but they had this voodoo guy in it, this, this bad guy, and uh, unlike a normal person who could watch the film and just walk away and be happy about it, I decided I had to make a habitat for it in Planet Zoo. But I do think it's going to go well with the Horror Zoo series. So what I'm doing now is I'm making a, like a line of drums, uh, which will kind of form like the boundary for what we're going to be building later. And we are going to backlight this later, and it looks so cool when the lighting's in. So the inspiration for that really came from there was this like one scene in the film where he was being uh, drawn into this portal by the... I don't know, the, the demons or, or whatever. Uh, and, and there were all these drums on the side and these masks and it looks it looks so cool. So I was like, that's that's the kind of scene I need here. And what I'm doing now is making the, this is gonna be the information center, which is something I always neglect in my zoos, but it's so important because they do actually earn quite a lot of money. And you know, you need that, you need that when you walk into a zoo, you need to see that there's, there's someone there that says hi and, and can give you what you need to get, actually get through the zoo. So I'm trying to build a shell out of these African like log pieces and I love them. They're so, so good. You can you can really uh, use them in any orientation and any combination and it just kind of works. And I had to put a log background behind it just because there's some slight gaps. But I, I do think this is fine. When, when the log background's there, it, it really looks fine. And as far as the roofing, I wanted a thatched roof, but I couldn't really decide which one. So you can see I played around with a few for a while. Um, I do quite like the pre-built ones that they have, um, but the, the pitched ones. But yeah, I couldn't decide for a little while, and I thought, you know what, I'll just build the back of this while I try and make up my mind. And I will be also copying this over to the other one and then joining them together. I just kind of put it there for a reference point of where I want stuff. And I'm going to use these pillars to uh, mark the corners of the build because I just, I really like them. I love the, it just all works really well together. The African pieces really work together. You have these, these thatch elements running through all of it and, and logs running through all of it and it's really great. And with the top, I wanted to put it on a slight tilt because I thought, oh, it'd be really cool if it's... It's on, a, it's on a tilt and then it can maybe have some smoke or something coming out the top. And my original idea was to put green smoke coming out of the top, but unfortunately you can't change the colour of smoke in Planet Zoo. So that would be something I'd want if they ever did an update uh, to that, but I don't think they will. It'd just be cool, because you can change the colour of so many things now with the aquatic pack. Um, yeah, you can see here I was, I was tempted to put in like a, 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 a jet of smoke, just like a constant stream. But I actually decided that the like poof clouds were, were much cooler because it's like, are you, who knows what they're doing in there? Maybe they're, they're making something and there's all this, this smoke and mist and you don't know what's happening. So I, I thought that would be cool. And uh, I do think it adds something. And I, I was, I was, at this point I was quite happy with that. Um, so I decided to copy it over and, and have the second one. Had a little bit of trouble there trying to wrestle it out of the groups. And I'm going to join these together now with another piece in the middle, but obviously you have to tilt the uh, tilt the top of, of the roof to the other way, so it doesn't look exactly the same. And I did play around with angles here a little bit, because I thought I don't want it to be exactly symmetrical, but it just looked a bit weird when it wasn't. So I, I didn't do it exactly symmetrical. I did it a little. I did it coming forward rather than going uh, back or slightly to the side. So it looks a bit different, but I didn't I didn't go as crazy as I wanted to on it. And putting in the roof here, the thatch pieces are awesome. I love these. They just, they, you can put loads of them on top of each other and it just looks natural. Like it's so handy. If you're not like that confident with roofing, it's a really good one to start with. And putting this mask in of the lion and I use these floor lights for eyes and I really like how they look. I was kind of hoping that they'd give more light, but they don't. So I, I had to put these spotlights in here. Um, just to kind of light up the area a little bit more and the color theme I'm going with is purple and green So we're having this like deep green Yeah, see I played with played around with the idea of having more lights or fewer lights I wasn't really sure um, what was gonna work. So I just tested a few things out and I uh, I do like how it ended up and now I'm uh, Lighting the back. I'm gonna put the masks in first and then I'm gonna do the backlighting for the drums and I am really happy with these when they end, when they're done. 
but the masks I, I was just using two of the masks and alternating them because yeah I wanted it to be like that scene in the film where there's there's all these there's like a row of masks and drums and they're all like beating and and he's being dragged away it's it's kind of I mean for Disney it's quite intense I have to say I don't know how uh, ch children feel about it but it's uh it's quite a good scene and I just doubled up the lights here as well just because they weren't like as strong as I wanted them to be so I did think I needed to and then just copying everything over to the other side and I actually I did play around with this a little bit because I get rid of this entrance here now and I build another entrance and then I do move the drums around so it's kind of like it's the whole area is cornered off by the drums but for now I'm just having trouble couldn't realize why I couldn't build outside of our side of the territory until I realized that I was outside of the zoo and that was why I couldn't build there so just moving the spawning points for the guests and I'm just going to build a little a little hut quite, uh, similar to what we did with the information center but for the voodoo vibe as well I'm hoping that these can kind of be tied together a bit and I wanted to put some curves on it because the other building was quite blocky and I didn't want to have two blocky buildings so using these curved logs here and they don't quite line up but it's fine because I have the corner pieces I can use these uh, columns again like I did before and I really love the thatch roof that they give they're just so so cool like it really ties in with the roof and then placing the roof I did I did make a couple of changes to the roof later but for, I was quite happy with this for a while just as it was and then I realized it was a little bit a little bit plain not not quite the scary vibe I was going for so I make it a little more a little more high like add a little bit of height to it make it a little bit scarier and I had to add a, a small roof to these and I really like these kind of like pre-built uh, pitched roof ones they do so I just used the one meter one there and put a little awning in as well and adding some masks to the side I'm also going to light these up because I think they look really cool when they're lit up but I wanted it to be uh, somewhere that the guests could could walk in and immediately they have the spooky vibe so to in light of that I immediately put a spooky kind of fireplace as soon as they spawn in which I'm I mean it's, it ties in well with the poor health and safety of this zoo so far because um, there's not really much protection around it but I, I put in these like spooky kind of claw pieces almost uh, to be like this this uh, clawed hand that's that's holding the fire I thought it was quite cool and I didn't want it to be exactly the same height, so I, I varied the height up a little bit as well. And I did play around with what I was going to put underneath. And I ended up just putting in some, some wooden logs that was the, the base piece. Because I thought it just needed something. And it wasn't, it wasn't as bright as I wanted it to be, because I kind of expected it would give off more light than it does. So I just put in some of the, Africa, uh, the Arctic torches, because I think they really give that cool fire cool fire feel and I, I really like that and then just adding in some spotlights to get the purple and green lighting I wanted and after I placed a few of these I was quite sick of placing spotlights I have to be honest but I do think they work and I, I played around with a couple of different floor lights to see if they, they'd work because the spotlights the spotlights are very strong and I didn't want it to be too bright but I actually think it kind of works because you walk in, it's like, bam, bright lights, you're already, you're, gonna, you're on guard. And uh, I, I just corrected a small thing on the other one there with the spotlight. It wasn't quite at the right angle. And just making some minor adjustments to the spotlight so they're kind of at the angles I wanted with the light. And here we go, filling in the boundary and moving, <laughs> moving the tree out the way. And adding in the centerpiece. Now I love that mask. I think it's so cool. And I know we used it on the other building, but I thought we had the the funny eyes on that one, so it looks it looks different. And just rounding off the boundary. Now I realised I needed to do this in the day as well because it's really hard to place all these at night. And I had a little bit of trouble with the drums on one side. I was just extending these out, but closer to the entrance they became a bit more of a pain because they kind of overlap at one section. So for now though, I'm just, uh, I'm just extending these along so they kind of go behind the building. And there you go, I had to switch to daylight here because it was just, it was just being a bit difficult. 
Not that it looks as scary in the day though, which is a shame, but I think it still gives a scary vibe. And I think this zoo is only gonna be open at night anyway, just because, you know, we gotta keep the theme going. Who cares about money? It's all about the theme. And I just kind of overlapping these drums. I didn't really mind too much about the placement because they're kind of hidden under the tree anyway. And it's gonna be seen at night and no one's really looking at the corner. And it wouldn't really matter anyway. It's all, it's all mystical. It's not all symmetrical. And then I, I played around with the path and how I wanted it to work. I didn't, I could, okay, here I couldn't really get it symmetrical and it was killing me. So I went with a larger path. I went with 10 and uh, 10 meters and it, and it was fine. And just making some final adjustments and I'm adding in a roof piece. And this is the final thing I do for this build. Just adding in a roof like the other one. I build it up and then I knock it down a little bit. But I, I, I like the idea of having another little smoke piece like we did on the other one. And I thought that these look cool and then when I look back I was like, oh no, it's a bit small. But I think it works. When, when, uh, when I make the next change, I think, I think it works because I, I put in a, a slightly larger piece and yeah, I, I think that's a lot better once, once that's in. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe and leave a comment for what you want to see next time. But for now, enjoy the scenery.